we're building community, really that's ultimately uh, what the Tara project is doing. We have so many things happening, different activities, different workshops, lectures, talks, therapies. So on one level we have all these things going on, on another level what's really happening is we're creating community. The unique heart of the Tara Centre really is unconditional positive regard for everyone that comes here, regardless of what their background is, what condition they're coming with, who they are, where they've been. I'm also really, really passionate about taking these therapies into areas that haven't had them before, you know, and making them accessible to people who wouldn't be able to afford them ordinarily. Because I just, um, it's, a, it's a human rights issue almost for me, and it's an issue about social justice. Um, it shouldn't be that if you can afford expensive treatment that you can get it. If this stuff works, and it does, then everyone should have the same chance at having it. I would say that it's not an exaggeration to say that she saved my life. It's really just love. It's an expression of love through every single thing that we do, whether it's drumming, whether it's art, whether it's to do with nutrition and food, whether it's yoga, movement, exercise, whether it's EFT, healing, any of the therapies that we offer here, any of the artistic things that happen here are really just an expression of love and that's what's the healer. The World Health Organization has said that about 50% of major diseases are as a result of lifestyle factors. Now I think it's about time that we approach health and health management in a different way because what we've obviously done can't continue to be done. So what I'm really passionate about is bringing all this knowledge together into the mainstream to be integrated into care that already is offered by the NHS. We can help the NHS for people with long-term health conditions. That's the one thing that heals people, to know that they um, are accepted for who, who they are and to know that their condition is um, not the thing that defines them to know that they are a whole person and they don't necessarily need fixing, but sometimes we just lose our way. Well, the only reason we're here is to just remind people who they are, because sometimes you forget, things happen to you and you forget. Um, and we just really walk with people in that journey until they come back home to themselves and bring some compassion. <laughs>